Hi guys, I go by the name of Preston Moore. Uh, I'm here tonight to make a very special video for you guys. Um, and forgive me for not having like the accolades and the extra things with regards to this video. It's basically going from here straight to YouTube. So what I wanna talk about is the a recent watchtower that just came out. The Jehovah Witnesses had a watchtower. Um, it was dated February, 2017. And in that watchtower, they made some very interesting statements. Give me one second, guys. I'm, and we're going to talk about it. Very interesting statements. So, what did the Jehovah Witnesses say? Well, they said that the governing body, which is the group that comes up with all of their spiritual food, that they are neither inspired nor are they infallible. Perhaps they saw my first video on YouTube where uh, I said that they act like they are infallible, but my opinion on that hasn't changed. They still do act as if they are infallible. And I say that because I say that because you can't teach them anything. If you're not a Jehovah Witness, you can't teach them anything. They, they just, but anyways, I don't want to get caught off into that. What I want to do is look at a scripture. And I believe it's 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. All right. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. And it reads... Oh, wrong scripture. Is it 121? Yes. Second Peter 121. Well, we'll read 20 and 21. It says, above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. Okay. So do we understand that he's basically saying that no scripture came about by means of some guy's interpretation like he didn't come up with it himself okay so how did he come up with scripture where does what is the source and origin of all scripture and most importantly how did it become in the man's mouth or on the hand that wrote the pen or that held the pen that wrote the anyways you guys see what i'm saying verse 21 answers that question for us it says for prophecy never had its origin in the human will but prophets who prophets through human spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. So what does that tell you? That tells you that these men who were prophets, okay, but regardless of their classification, these men were carried along by the Holy Spirit of God. So it is the Holy Spirit of God whose presence was in these men who helped them to write scripture. That is the source of scripture, okay? And we already know, uh, what is that? I think it's 2 Timothy, not 3, is it 3.16? Have I been slipping on my Bible study? Nah. <laughs> 2 Timothy 3.16. But you know, we could all do better sometimes, right? It says this, all scripture is what? God breathed or inspired and is useful for teaching, for rebuking, correcting, and training in the righteous ways, okay? And I think the New World Translation says something like setting things straight. So here it says, all scripture is inspired of God, right? Now we just read in the last scripture that it was the Spirit of God that helped men to write the scripture. So my question for Jehovah Witnesses really is, and the reason why I decided to make this video is because on one hand, the Jehovah Witnesses say that they are God's spirit anointed di uh, organization. Okay, the only, not, that's one claim, okay? But they say that they are the only religion that is in effect right now that is directly led by God, Christ, and Jesus, okay? Well, God and Christ. And that they alone are the only religion that he is using or will ever use in the future to bring about his divine plan, purpose, and will in this earth. 
So I guess that would mean that no other religion is led by God's spirit. You know, and it's interesting. I, I, I do my research on these people, and they say that, I think it was in the exact same article, the February 2017, that says that evidence that they are the faithful slave is, is found in the fact that they are led by the Holy Spirit. So my point is, how can you, by the Spirit of God, write, sing, speak, by the Spirit of God, and not be inspired, and that not be inspired. Jesus told his disciples that when they stand before governors, that don't be in a rush to speak. He said that God, who is living basically in them, would speak for them, telling them and helping them with what they are to speak. Is that message not inspired? that message is surely inspired. What I argue and what I believe with full faith and assurance is that if the, if the Holy Spirit is assisting you to write or to speak, then your words are inspired of God. Look up inspired in the dictionary. It basically means that God and his spirit has a hand in the stirring of the pot. Do you understand? So I don't want to get on a rant about the Jehovah Witnesses, but I want someone to explain to me, how can you be led by God's spirit to write or speak, but not be inspired of God? God's spirit is behind the words but it's not inspired. <laughs> Come on, guys. And every, every blue moon, not blue moon, but every now and then, Jehovah Witnesses, they get caught in these anomalies and these things that they just can't explain. You know, they're just, you know, they're stuck and they're confused. Uh, but we know that with God, there's no confusion, guys. And where there's confusion, there's error. And that's where, as a, Believer in God, I'm afraid for you. You should be on a whole nother level about yourself. <laughs> Been there, done that, right? So it's just interesting. See, God is not the God of religion, guys. God is the God of heaven and earth. His spirit created everything that you see that is good and that is holy. You can't restrict God to your boxes, to the limitations of your own mind. He doesn't exist solely in that place. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't be God if he had to listen to you and obey you. <laughs> I pray y'all have some understanding. In 2017, and it's almost the end of the year into 2018, that y'all be blessed with understanding, with gifts spiritual gifts, challenge those people who mislead you in your family, who confuse you in your family. Don't be afraid to ask them questions. Perhaps you can help them. But on a greater note, lives are at stake, guys. And now I know God's not gonna lose a single soul, right? But lives are at stake. So interesting events going on in their world. Um, I don't want to miss anything before I get out of here, but I think I pretty much hit the nail on the head, I think. Um, oh, I believe the reason why the Jehovah Witnesses are doing this is because they're like they're trying to make they're trying to make they're trying to provide a way out for themselves with regards to their false teachings, okay? Because I'm sure over the course of the last few years, they've probably had a higher than normal number of people questioning them and, uh, and kind of speaking to them, uh, challenging them, basically. They've probably had more people doing that. And 
they are and they realize or at least some of them realize that they've made some mistakes and that they currently have some things that are wrong so they have to try to save face a little bit and they do to in an attempt to do that they say this but the bad thing about it guys is it's like they're laying down their power guys See, God gives us the power. His spirit gives us the strength. It's not ours. We don't do it. God does it. I pray that you guys don't lay your power down in 2017, 2018. Religion can't save you, but God's spirit can lead you to salvation all the way to the tree of life. It's Pimo. Well, you guys know my name. You guys have a blessed night.